gentlemen of the media. I've called here this afternoon because a few moments ago, Air Marshal Michael Samson Uche, the Chief of Defense Staff, came to inform me that he has reached the retiring age and therefore came to say goodbye to me formally in my capacity as Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. I express the gratitude of the nation and the people of Ghana to him for his service to our nation, 42 years in the colors, and wished him well in his retirement. The defense structure is such that there can be no vacuum in command. The Constitution in Article 212 1A reposes in the President of the Republic the responsibility to appoint the Chief of Defense Staff after consultation with the Council of State. The Council of State is yet to be constituted, and as you know, the processes for the constitution of the Council are now on. But pending its constitution, I've decided to appoint someone to act as Chief of Defense Staff. That person is the current Chief of Army Staff. For many of us, we know that to mean the Army Commander. And he's in the person of Major General Obed Asamoa Akwa. An infantry officer He's a graduate of the Military Academy at Teshi and of the Royal Military Academy at, at Sandhurst. And he has had an exemplary career in the Ghana Armed Forces. He's obtained qualifications from the Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College and the Defense Services Staff College of India. He's had extensive international peacekeeping experience in various parts of the world was also Brigade Commander of the UN Stabilization Mission in the Democratic Republic of the Congo some five years ago. He has been Commander of the Ghana Military Academy, Commandant of the Kofianan International Peacekeeping Training Center, and since July of last year has acted as our Chief of Army Staff. He was also ADC to my former boss, President John Ajekunku for, which was when I got to know him well. I believe that his career and personality make him strongly qualified to act in the top job of the Armed Forces, Chief of Defense Staff, and it is my pleasure to appoint him to act as such, pending the constitutionally required consultation with the Council of State. General, congratulations. Nature abhorring a vacuum, with the elevation of Major General Aqua to the position of Chief of Defense Staff, there's a need to appoint his replacement. Again, the Constitution imposes that responsibility on the President of the Republic in Article 2121B, that is the appointment of service chiefs. Again, pending the constitutionally required consultation with the Council of State, I have decided to appoint someone to act in the capacity of Chief of Army Staff, that is of Army Commander. And I've settled on one of the outstanding soldiers of his generation. A soldier who, after a brief period of training at Teshi, graduated from the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst, He's had a distinguished career serving in several units of the armed forces and has pursued extensive training in several prestigious military institutions. The Ranger School in the United States, the Junior Staff Course in Jiaji, Nigeria, and artillery training in China 
and has undertaken intelligence courses in the United States. He has indeed been Director General of the Defense Intelligence and currently is the command, Commandant of MATS, that is the Military Training and Academy School, and was promoted to the rank of Major General in July 2016. He's a known expert in counterterrorism measures and indeed is a fellow in counterterrorism of the National Defense University in Washington, D.C., and a member of the Royal College of Defense Studies in London. He's had a vast experience in international peace support operations in Lebanon, in Liberia, in Sierra Leone, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. And it is with considerable pleasure that I have the opportunity to appoint this distinguished soldier to act in the position of Army Chief of Staff, pending the consultation with the Council of State. And that is Major General William Azuri Ayamdu. General, you should come here so the world can see you. There are currently two distinguished soldiers who are in the positions of Chief of Air Staff and Chief of Navy Staff. I refer to Air Vice Marshal Maxwell Manchibi Tei Nagai and the Chief of Navy Staff Rear Admiral Peter Kofi Feidu. Perhaps we have a role, we may join him because this is a very brief matter. <laughs> and the brevity is that the decision I've made is that they should retain, retain in their current positions as Chief of Air Staff and Chief of Naval Staff. So that now we have a full complement again of the service chiefs in our country. So, yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, I'm aware that these are novel interventions in the governance of our country, but I believe that transparency and making sure that the Ghanaian people are aware all the time of what is happening here and in the decisions we take on their behalf is important. And that is why important public officials, such as those who are outdoor to you this afternoon, be known directly to you from my own lips. So, and this is the reason for these uh, uh, measures that we have taken to acquaint the people with the decisions that I've made. I'm grateful to you for being here and thank you very much for your, uh, your presence and the work that you're going to do in popularizing these decisions. These are fine soldiers and the Ghanaian people should know that I've appointed some fine soldiers to, to protect them. Thank you.